Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Yes, right off the bat, you guys can tell that I now am a proud owner of the Steam Deck. Now this is the 64 gigabyte Steam Deck, put in a reservation maybe like mid to late August. I did get it a lot sooner than I had expected. It's been less than 24 hours, but I really wanted to make this video because for my, my primary reason for buying this, was to play The Sims 4. This video, I'm gonna quickly teach you how I was able to successfully install my Sims 4 games on my micro SD. Again, I am super, super excited, so let's get straight into it. So I do have a mouse connected via Bluetooth because it is gonna be a lot easier to do desktop mode, especially when it's when you're just doing it off of the Steam Deck screen. All right, so first things first is you're gonna locate your micro SD. Again, this is for those that want to install Origin games, Obviously, specifically The Sims 4, that's all I've had on, on the Steam Deck right now on a micro SD. So this is my micro SD. It's just labeled primary. I went ahead and made an origin folder. Now in here, you can tell that I have The Sims 4 already installed on here and everything that needs to go in that folder. Cool. So this right here is actually gonna be really important, right? If you can click here. This is the pathway to your micro SD. So now first things first, you will need to download the actual Origin installer via the website down in the description below, which is credited to the Steam Deck Gaming channel. So a link to that specific video on what helped me get to this point will be also linked down below. But since the release of their video and today, there actually have been a few changes that I'd like to update you all since the Steam Deck is always changing and there's always like new updates to the system. So once you're ready to start download, downloading games from Origin, this is kind of where hopefully my video can come in handy. So let's open that up. We'll do library. This is gonna be after the whole initial setup that again, the video down below will help you get to this point. But now you have Origin here. I even already custom added a little logo, which I thought would show up here, but I can't figure that out. Anyway, that's not important. So here we're gonna go on to manage properties and all the way here under shortcut, you're gonna see launch options. So you're gonna want to copy this exact thing, steam underscore compact underscore mounts equals, and then you're gonna go back to that pathway that I told you that you needed to create or that you would need to know this right here. You're just gonna go ahead and copy that and you're gonna paste it here. And then you're gonna do space. You're gonna do uh, percent sign commands or command percent sign, percent sign. So remember there's a space after your pathway to your micro SD and then that percentage command percentage sign. Once we're done with that, also one thing to note, compatibility that I found worked for me was Proton 7. Over on Steam Deck Gaming Channel, they do suggest doing experimental. That did not work for me. It kept saying that it was failing. So this is the Proton as of right now, October 5th, this Proton works. So just a heads up, but you are gonna need to force this specific thing to be able to play. So once we're done with that, you can go ahead and click play, which will then um, launch up if it's your first time to go ahead and log in and sign into your origin account. Okay, so once you've logged in and signed into your own account, you're gonna go into origin application settings. Now you're gonna go on to install and saves tab. And this is where you want to change the location of your game library. So uh, default, this is will, this will be different. It'll say something about like home, desktop or something because that's saving directly onto the Steam Deck itself. Again, I only have 64 gigabytes, so it wasn't enough room because I do have a lot of expansions and it'll tell you when in trying to install any Origin game that you won't have enough room if you're trying to install it on your actual Steam Deck. So this is where I had to go and change folder. So you click on here, you have to find where your micro SD is, is located. Mine was E, a lot of people's show up under D, but go ahead and click on my computer and here you can kind of see, okay, this is Steam Deck's drive. D, there's nothing. And E, this is where I have, again, that origin folder that we created at the very beginning. And hopefully, okay, sorry, hopefully now I fixed the, Hopefully now you can see what I'm talking about. So as I said, C is Steam Deck's uh, library and home. 
some micro SD cards may show up under D. Mine actually came up under E. And again, here's the origin folder that we created in the beginning of this video. This is your micro SD. So you want to make sure that you are clicking um, the one where you where, where essentially you want to save your Sims games or any origin games. So once that is set, this is this automatically links to this one. So when I tried manually changing it to this, it said it's already in the same location. So that was fine. That was key. Changing the pathway to your micro SD card on here under install and saves tab in the actual launcher will help you then download every single game will automatically download to that location. So really from there, that's it. You can go ahead and click out of desktop mode. So that way it's a little bit easier um, to navigate if you don't have a mouse. And from there, you should be able to play The Sims 4 via desktop mode or even under gaming mode. It should show up. I was playing it last night in bed and I did do some controls to be able to control The Sims via the trackpad and triggers. Um, if you are interested in my current like controller layout, if you want to play The Sims 4, just super portable and on Steam Deck without having to connect a keyboard or mouse, comment down below. Maybe I'll make another video showing off the layout that I currently have that works for me. Of course, thankfully the Steam Deck is super customizable so you can customize it to you. So if this video helped in any way, shape or form, please like and share this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, that does help the channel a whole bunch. Comment down below if you have any further questions. I will see you guys on the next one.